some new video energy, yeah. Basically. Let's see if it works. If not, I guess it's just a sign that I need to start learning SMT5 again. I think it's a good thing to do when runs die because sometimes like I get tired and I cut stream and then 15 minutes later I'm like oh, I could have kept going. <laughs> I just could get nicknamed demons like in Pokemon. I'm I'm honestly glad we can do that. <laughs> I feel like that's too much pressure. Sometimes I like not having the options, you know? The only way I would like that is if, is if they um, gave us some like default nicknames like they do in Dragon Quest Monsters. That's like... Oh, you, you recruit a slime, and the default names are, are like, Slimy, Slimer. What else was there? Slime Man. That would be cool. Though they don't have that in Dragon Quest Monsters Joker 3, unfortunately. That's why that game isn't as good as the others. That'd be kind of cool. I keep forgetting that Soul Hackers released last year. Soul Hackers 2, that, that is. Um, in my head, it's such an old game. Like, it became irrelevant so quickly. I've never seen a Mega Ten game be forgotten that quickly. That's why I keep thinking that it was released in like 2020 or something, 2021. I don't know, not last year. It hasn't even been a year since it was released. B Man didn't forget, B Man never forget. And you can on sexy old slime, you got his Srabo. I, yeah, I, I like the, I like the default uh, nick nicknames in, in Japanese, like Srabo. Suramaru, Surasuke. Those are funny. I feel like the best part about learning one Ikani 50 onwards is that you learn all these countries for names. The worst part about one Ikani 50 onwards is also that you have to learn all these countries for names. Um, and then you have to input the the fucking definition, the random definition that they give it. That part is also not. But it is useful. I've unfortunately already forgotten a lot of them, so I need to I need to do more one economy so I can remember them.
Really? I didn't know that. Still a lot of a lot of countries that they usual they didn't used to have. Three hundred. <laughs> you were digging into the one can you were. It makes me wonder if they're going to ever add more levels. Maybe one day we'll... Um, have all the N1 kanji. Since we're still missing like 200 I think. That's what I gotta remember, because when I'm saying, like, when I tell myself, oh, I wanna try out N1, I gotta remember that I still have to study a lot to even be at, like, know what's expected of someone taking the N1. But I'm gonna try. I don't, like, I don't know why people wait, wa hate one Ikani so much, and what I really don't get is that, like, they could just not pay for it? <laughs> like, they could just not- there's other services like one Ikani, especially Anki, which is free. Like, they could just use something else. So why do they insist on using one Ikani? If you're sick of one Ikani, and if you have some things that you don't like about one Ikani, just don't use it. I didn't use one Ikani for almost a year because at one point I didn't want to have to, like I I was kind of tired of doing space repetition and I was also kind of tired of having to memorize all of the definitions that one Ikani uses so I wanted to see the vocabulary more as it's used in the wild but I still appreciate one Ikani for what it's done for me and my studying of my family, you know, it's a great base, it really is. Uh, the colored bar means the encounter rate. So if it's blue, it means that there's no encounters. If it's yellow, orange, that means that there's a an, a chance of encounters, but it's not very high. And if it's red, that means that there's an encounter that's gonna show up at any moment. Yeah, I know, it feels good to know your kanji. It's a flex, for sure. You wish I had an encounter with IRL. <laughs> for what?
<laughs> oh, yeah, no, I, I get it. There was like a, f a festival going on in my hometown um, this past week, and the encounter rate bar was definitely in the red all the time. Finally a good goblin. Oh, this is the one. This is the one. The yoga works. I mean, I should probably not change it. But that was a good start. I mean, I'm talking about N1, but I'm not even sure if I passed the, the N2. But I kinda, like, even if I didn't pass the N2, I kinda just want to start studying for the N1. I'm not sure I want to take the N2 again. It doesn't really matter. At the end of the day. It's not like I need a qualification for a job or anything. So the time I will get the meaning work I'm guessing. I just saw uh Juvio with serious illness. I mean yeah, it makes sense. That's why studying kanji works. It's important for understanding the meaning of words. No Tonfa. <laughs> Nikosta. I guess so. Oh, I got a fucking Molotov cocktail. That's fucking funny. Jesus! Can I walk? Can I go down the fucking corridor?
They're co yeah, it's their race. I got two jewels, that's funny. Faster than the cops? Come on. I might like I might as well just use it. <laughs> I might as well just use Hummus for every turn now eight percent. I got the money. Like I can spare it. I got the Hummus. I might as well. And then I just auto the entire time. I should have just been doing that. Whoops. Where are the dryads? Battle hammer. Ah, oh, there she is. Yeah, I'm probably just gonna sell it. Whoops.
Wait. Ah, oh, whatever. I've already killed. No, I don't care. I thought I, I thought I had two of them. I didn't give my jewel away. Come on. Alright. That could have been worse. Maybe he'll give me my jewel back. No. No exclusive. No salvage from my move for the dangerous fight. No, you're not. That shit sucks. It's so preventable. And me, Simon had been doing the strat the entire time, and we were just stupid and didn't know. It was like three years ago. Simple times, so simple times. We didn't even know anything about SMT5 at that time. <laughs> I'm tired. What's up, Silver? I'm doing good. How are you? I 
tell me to go play Persona 5. This guy. Been playing this game for three years. <laughs> I I guess I am not bored of this game somehow. Going for Photoshop, yeah, so that's fun. I think I saw RPG Link break. Um uh, Post uh, credit for for Joe Fiesta. This is pretty cool. Level 30 in World 1? My god. One day, I gotta try running Devil Survivor. You being here reminded me of that. So, it's a very underrepresented speedrun. I mean, I've run cars so many, how bad can you be? I've, I've run so many bad games. What's up, Mari Vino? Thank you for the look. Appreciate it. Longer than Carlson, though? No, it isn't. No, it isn't. I know Kuzo has a, a route that's like six hours or seven hours or something. I do want to, if possible, because I'm gonna like the rest of the year is gonna be kind of easy, but and I have promised to run Persona One and Camp to One if possible. But I would love to be done with the Devil Children games this year. So run Blue, not Blue. Um, what's it called? Uh, ice and dark. It was around this time last year that I wrote in Firebook, and it was actually kind of fun to run. Horrible to run, because the end game in that game just fucking sucks. 
because you don't really have like a stoma or anything that works to prevent the encounter rate, and the encounter is insanely high. They're so bad. They're so bad, man. But I guess they're probably gonna be good games compared to some games I've seen you run. <laughs> so I guess it's always relative. Yeah, <laughs> legit. <laughs> He loved the map in Firebook after all. Shit is so bad. Messiah Riser. Messiah Riser, honestly, like, Messiah Riser at least is fun. I like playing it, it's just very long. We're thinking of routing Messiah Riser at the SA, because Asa has an actual copy. But like, I'm not sure we'll, we, we have a lot of plans to do a lot of stuff, so... I'm not sure what we'll actually, actually have time to do. When I'm running Majin Tensei, bro... Do you hate me? Be for real. I can do it. There you go. Almost sold all the swords. I don't need that. Uh, I will, however, need like this and.
That's it. I've already been here. Sequence is always so stressful. Even if the fights end up being a little longer, I'm just so glad I cut the Winnow menuing section because my god. I never said that. I'm just reading up on the messages. I never said that and I that's a lie. That is a lie. Uh it's very long. The game is just insanely long. You can't post messages like that during the menuing section, that's evil. You know I can read chat. Oh no. Zeno, defend me on this. No, Zeno, what are you doing? <laughs> defend me on this. Alright. 
For once, I think my alignment is good. Cat aggro. I love when you say that. <laughs> It's just funny. It's such a funny way of putting it. Oh, that was just me. Oh. I thought there was some power link on there.
Good for 10. I didn't just do a couple of turnarounds for no reason. Oh, the boots. I would remember I hadn't equipped them very quickly. Really? I got the extremely low chance encounter in the area. Another glance in
Mm. Gotta check my homie now. But it should be fine. Whoops. <laughs> this is funny. So Oh, I forgot to split again.
Yeah. There is something different about them. Okay, because we're chaos, I'm just gonna fill up. No, I don't remember if I would have used almost on the exit again. Yeah, I think I should be fine on Stop for a kid now. Ghost Rice, not the turn. <laughs> I'm gonna use the armor. There you go. Pretty gonna have to. Thank you. 
Have to go heal it afterwards. No. See on the sound. Always a long ass fight. I got it. Like, there has to be something that I, I can do to make it faster. There has to be something. I'm using the M16. Like, the very first one we get. I never upgraded. Because I'm. Like. I don't know if there's any quick improvements that we can do because I'm trying to avoid doing many shopping sections because those are really slow. Oops. So it's like I know how to make, I know how to get a, oops, oh my god, I know how to get a faster fight by you know just getting better weapons. Because I'm trying to avoid having to get a lot of weapons. I guess at, a, at one point I could return Goblin and start attacking with the heroin too, maybe? I don't know. Just, just not a hypothesis. Okay, this time I'm gonna fucking use a stoma. At the cathedral. I'm not gonna do the same bullshit I did yesterday. Oops. Was that yesterday? No. Two days ago. Another stressful glitching section coming up. So first I'm going to sell this. Now I'm going to buy this.
Okay. So I got the boots. Boots are equipped, the new boots are equipped. And the real guns are equipped. Everything's set up. Right? Right. I'm just gonna go for it. I'm not gonna like make sure because I feel like I'm just thinking about it too much. Yeah, you think so? I think so. It's at least two people thinking so, so... So, so I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna go ahead.
Atlas just doesn't make dungeons like these anymore. Putting you outside in the middle of dungeon, giving you four chances of places you have to explore by making you go outside. It's just not what I used to do. So I gotta remember to heal Goblin. Goblin's out of MP. Just gotta go to the side real quick and heal him up. After the Angel Ring. I was one tile off, that's funny. I don't think that ever happens. Since the game usually stops you at that one tile. What's up, Black Man? Good morning to you as well.
Just after he said that, I messed it up. <laughs> this is why you can't give me any compliments. What's up, Septurna? How are you? Only a week to go. How are we feeling? Oops. Is he safe? Oh, yeah. I completely butchered the reading of that message, but I understood it in my brain. I'm just doing a lot of stuff at the same time, so the reading skills have consequently <laughs> deteriorated. Like my brain is using too much memory, like a computer. So the processes just started running um, <laughs> worse. <sighs> All right, now we just hit him hard until he die. You know, it might not look like it, but focusing on all that movement, not that easy. It's kind of tiring, actually. Don't, don't jinx it then. I don't know. You will depend on after it. Just like many things in life. It will depend on if I have Actually equipped the bind bullets or not? Oh, we got preemption, little boy. Okay, well that was a good round. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I got it first. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay, that's a very good run. Also, good Asura. Bound first turn, then then stayed bound. That's very good. No, this isn't the ESA carry guard. This is ninety percent. Alright, I'm gonna just turn off my air condition. No, it's... I have to return to the ESA category now though. <laughs> 
There's no more excuses. Now I gotta do it. Alright, so in terms of my route, I feel like the only improvement I would do is try and see if there's any gun that I can buy that's better than the MP16 or the M16, whatever it's called, I think it's M16. Um, and it's quick, but it has to be like instant. Like, I'd have to have enough money by the time I enter Weno or wherever place it was. And I would just scooch by that one, equip it, and that'd be it. And it would have to be, it have to make the echidna in a lot of them fights considerably faster, because the echidna is pretty slow right now. And buying one just for echidna is kind of hard to justify, because I could buy the rail gun right after that. But I feel like there has to be something I can do to make it even faster. That's probably like the big improvement that I do. But yeah, this is this is a fun route. I definitely recommend anyone learning SM21 to run this category instead of Glitchless because having to put up with the pain of Glitchless is... And the glitches are very very hard to execute, not hard, very 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 easy to execute. They're basically not glitches, they're just menu and tricks. Yeah. I'd call this category the many trick category. If we ever found like a credits warp or something, I'd probably want to keep this category. Where you, would, you wouldn't be allowed to execute the other scary glitches, only the many trick. I beat it. Thank you for the GG's, I appreciate it. I feel like the biggest time improvement would be whatever, coming with something, coming up with something for Echidna and obviously just getting a better tour. Like if you have better recruitment, you can obviously get a better run. But everything, everything else went pretty good. I feel like the Younger Stones work very well. Takes away a lot of the RNG. Oh, there is also some, uh, like, a little improvement that I, I thought of mid-run, which is because I'm buying weapons anyway at the at the knife store. Like, Zen, if you, want, if you ever want to try out my route, I can pass you my notes. And I definitely do this instead. Uh, so, at the knife store, I'm buying unsigned blades, which can be sold for 6k each. Um, and I'm doing it twice and I feel like maybe it's worth it to like buy three more maybe just so you can skip buying some items later so because you can like you can sell them for 600 each so that means you wouldn't have to buy like the the helmet in at the armor store later or like the knuckles because these can only be sold for like 200 each so if you bought like an another set of three you could probably get a good amount of money for the armors and skip a lot of armor that you don't really need 
you probably skip selling a bunch of stuff too. Uh, so that's probably what I'd adjust there. And I need to add to the notes to get the wisdom and the luck incenses in Shuya. Because in Shuya, I'm getting the luck incense, the, uh, the luck incense, the wisdom incense, and the magic incense. I'm also getting the luck incense at the laboratory. And with that, I get 26 intelligence on the hero. 26 intelligence. Which is only one last point that we do for Glitchless. But I'm getting him two more luck points off of incenses. And I think that evens out. I'm not even sure if luck actually affects the accuracy, but in my head, that evens it out. Uh, and I def like I didn't really struggle with uh, with Ghost Rice is not hitting or Soul Sender is not hitting. And yeah, I mean obviously we don't have as much strength as we could have Brickin and Lagon. So yeah, I don't know. Maybe there's something we can do about that. But cutting that cutting that section at Lagon, that menu section saves a lot of time, and I think it's worth it. And 21's Youngest Stones work, and we have more than enough money for 21's Youngest Stones. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I think that's good. I think that's good. So if you have any suggestions on guns that we, we'd be able to afford with 20k money, uh, then go ahead. If not, I feel like it has to be the M16. I, and it's what I was telling you. I feel like maybe the, the this has to be tried out, but um, I feel like maybe the best we can do is oh yeah, you get the browning. The browning, like, the browning, the browning could work. The browning could work. Though I do like my two guaranteed hits. Another thing that could work though is not so much for Ladon because Ladon is still low level, but Echidna. What we could do is we like use up like five or six Tarakajas and then return Goblin and start attacking with Heroin. And maybe that makes it faster. Maybe. It has to be time. But yeah, that's basically all the suggestions I have in regards to the rough. If you want my notes, I can share them. Anyone wants my notes, I can share them. That's it. Now we, we wait for Sim. Like, Sim could very much beat, very well beat this time. I don't know what his, what his run does exactly, but I'm not sure if it's not faster. I don't know. And you can, and anyone can easily beat my time by just getting a 23 floor, which is not unusual uh, with only five demons to get. I've gotten 23 floors pretty often. So, getting a 27 in this game, or in this category, it's perfectly doable. I can't really go for it right now because I gotta go back to the truth. But I know, maybe, maybe I'll do it. Alright, that's it. Uh, I hope people give this category a try. It's very fun. And... I, I don't... I don't... I, I was trying to think of anything else I have to say. Uh, I'm gonna go back to Glitchless, I'm gonna start learning... Uh, M75 again, gotta do rest there. And I'm gonna try and do an SMT5 run very soon. Expect an SMT5 run in the, in the coming week. Because I have to get a run done. So I'm gonna try and learn that as quickly as possible. But yeah, it's too early so nobody's streaming yet. It's gotta cut stream. That's so funny. At least my movement is de-rusted. 